to charge Robert Menendez with corruption. New Jersey's Democratic Senator plans to fight the Justice Department. Embattled Senator Robert Menendez is unlikely to resign his Senate seat amid looming criminal corruption charges that he allegedly used his office to benefit a well-heeled donor, according to sources familiar with the matter. Instead, Menendez will have survived past scrutiny by federal prosecutors over his actions for years, plans to fight the Justice Department and clear his name, sources said. At a press conference in Newark on Friday evening, he said that he has broken no laws and made no mention of plans to step down. Quote, let me be very clear, very clear. I have always conducted myself appropriately and in accordance with the law, Menendez said. I am not going anywhere. It remains to be seen whether Menendez can hang out onto his spot as ranking Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee once corruption charges are filed. Two other senators in recent years, the late Ted Stevens of Alaska and John Ensign of Nevada, each stepped aside from leadership posts as they face scrutiny over their actions in public office. And Menendez, as well as Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid, D of Nevada, are likely to face heightened pressure after the Justice Department unveils the charges. Menendez made no mention of any plans to relinquish his prominent committee perch as the panel's top Democrat Menendez is squarely in the middle of an uphill battle for Congress to authorize force against the Islamic State, a full plate well before the corruption charges hit. The comments come as source said Friday afternoon that federal prosecutors preparing to bring federal charges against Menendez, who plans to address the charges at a news conference in Newark Friday night. A federal grand jury in New Jersey has for months been investigating Menendez's interactions with Sol Solomon Melgan, a close friend and financial backer of the senator, prompting Menendez to rack up hundreds of thousands in legal bills as the probe intensified. A New Jersey newspaper reports this week that several Menendez aides declined to answer questions before the grand jury, citing a constitutional privilege that covers uh, the New Jersey Democrat and other lawmakers and staff. It is unclear, unclear if Menendez has appeared before the grand jury, although it is considered very unlikely by sources close to the case. Sources familiar with the probe said the Justice Department Public Integrity Unit, with prosec w which prosecutes federal officials, along with the FBI, have cast a wide net looking f looking at his public actions even before he first came to Congress as a House member in 1993. Menendez was appointed to the Senate in 2006 and won re-election in 2012. In his 2006 and 2012 races, Menendez faced scrutiny over whether he improperly used his office to help allies. CNN first reported the expected corruption charges, which could come in the next few weeks. The charges imperil the career of the powerful New Jersey Democrat who has emerged as a prominent Democratic skeptic of the White House's dealings with Iran and Cuba. In 2009 and 2012, Menendez intervened with top officials at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the agencies that oversaw the Medicare program, about a CMS ruling that Melgan had overbilled the Medicare program by nearly $9 million. Melgan has repaid those funds. FBI agents and investigators from the Department of Health and Human Services have searched the Florida ophthalmologist's office twice as part of the probe. Other actions by Menendez have also come under scrutiny. He contacted the state and commerce departments for help in pressuring the Democratic Republic's governors to honor a contract with a port security company owned by Melgan. The senator had traveled repeatedly in Melgan's private plane, and Menendez was forced to repay $70,000 from his own pocket for some unreported flights after they came to light. Melgan has also donated heavily to Menendez campaigns, including $700,000 in 2012 to a Democratic super PAC that spent heavily to help the senator secure re-election. Let me stop there. That is completely legal. There's nothing illegal about that. Quote, we celebrated holidays together. We have been there for family weddings and sad times like funerals. 
and have given even each other birthday, holiday, and wedding presents just a few uh, as friends do, Menendez said on Friday night. Menendez made no reference to the corruption charges or justice probe on Friday night other than a reference on to an ongoing inquiry. The senator's office has denied any wrongdoing in Menendez and his dealings with Melgan. As we have said, quote, as we have said before, we believe all the senator's actions have been appropriate and lawful, and the facts will ultimately confirm that. Any actions taken by Senator Menendez or his office have been to appropriately address public policy issues and not for any other reason, his spokeswoman Tricia Enright said in a statement. Quote, the start of this investigation is suspect, Enright added. We know many false allegations have been made about this matter, allegations that were ultimately publicly discredited. We also know that the official investigation of this matter is ongoing and therefore cannot address allegations being made anon anonymously. Attorney General Al Eric Holder declined to discuss Menendez, which when approached by reporters on Friday, I can't comment on that, on that, Holder said. Menendez will soon have to have a say in Holder's replacement when the Senate votes on whether to confirm Loretta Lynch as the next Attorney General. In 2012, The Daily Caller, a conservative news outlet, published a report that Menendez had sex with underage prostitutes while staying at Melgan's home in an exclusive resort in the Dominican Republic. Menendez angrily denied the report, which came just days before the 2012 election, and could not be substantiated. However, the media attention surrounding Menendez's relationship with Melgan led to the discovery of several unreported flights by the senator on Melgan's plane. The FBI and other federal investigators began looking into menendez Melgan's relationship, which eventually led to the expected criminal charges against the senator. The 61-year-old Menendez is not up for re-election in 2018. It remains to be seen whether it will be politically tenable for him to remain in his position on the Foreign Relations Committee, whether he helps shape U.S. foreign policy debates and receive classified information if he is indicted. Reed and other top Democrats will come under pressure to force Menendez out of the post. Representative Charlie Ringel, a D of New York, had to step down as Ways and Means Committee char chairman when he came under investigation, and Stevens had to give up his post as ranking member on the Appropriations Committee when he was indicted in 2008. It's not the first time Menendez has faced legal scrutiny. In 2006, FBI agents began looking into Menendez's relationship with a nonprofit organization that rented office space from him. Menendez has secured millions of dollars in federal funds for the organization. Republicans attacked Menendez repeatedly over the issue during the nasty 2006 Senate race, but the Democrat vehemently denied any wrongdoing and the controversy failed to derail his election. In an unusual move in 2011, the Justice Department announced the criminal probe had ended. In addition to his ties to Melgan, federal investigators have more recently on Menendez ties to Robert and William Isaias, the brothers who fled to the United States after fighting extradition to Ecuador over charges that they allegedly embezzled tens of millions of dollars from the country's largest bank before it collapsed and had to be rescued by the Ecuadorian government. The Isaias brothers were sentenced in absentia to eight years in prison. Menendez repeatedly contacted senior officials in the state and homeland security departments on the family's behalf. Menendez also intervened with the state department on behalf of Estefania Isaias, the daughter of Robert Isaias, over her visa problems, according to media reports. Family members of the Isaias brothers donated $10,000 to Menendez's 2012 re-election campaign, as well as more than $100,000 to the Democratic Party. Now, as you heard, the Obama administration is very angry with this guy for questioning his ISIS lack of leadership, and all of these charges seem to stem out of uh, him speaking out against uh, President Obama. What do you think this really is? Do you think this guy is actually corrupt? Or do you think the Democratic Party is punishing him for speaking out? It is the case that the the uh, that the House and the Senate are supposed to be completely separate from the president. The president and the and the Congress 
are not supposed to be friends. Congress is the check against the presidency. If Congress can't speak out against the president, then you don't have a check. Then the entire system is corrupt and useless. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.